What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory video. This is another team guild or guild team match I should say and sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded one but between being sick and we've had a couple of our uh, range war at one hive and I just really haven't had time to record much. I tried to do another spectator recording but the lag was just unbearable. I'm going to try again because I really did enjoy those and I think you guys did too. Uh, but this one you can see is just a team match with I believe it was me, or obviously me, and Ringo, Whistle This was playing Ringo, and Weapon Z from the guild was playing Finn against, actually Weapon Z might not be in our guild, he might be, sorry if I got that wrong, against I think it was Catherine, uh, Kashka, and who did they have in the lane there, I'll check in a minute, I didn't, didn't pay attention to start of the video there. Uh, we come down, start our farm, Catherine decides she wants to come over a little bit, and then right here early on, they decided to test us out and see what we were all about and take our farm. So we went ahead and engaged them and took out Kashka pretty quick. She gets on the run. She knows she's in trouble already, uh, but not quite quick enough to get away this time simply because she is not at all her abilities and all that stuff. Uh, Would have had her there, but uh, Catherine got off that timely stun uh, and saved her friend, but they paid with some of their farm. So we took that from them as sort of a penalty and just went back to work. Um, this game was fun. I, Ringo, I'm sorry, they, they also had a Ringo on their team. We just, we're having so much more. I, I told you guys early on, I knew it would be this way. When you can get a group to play with, whether it's just a, a guild you're in or just someone that you know in, in real life and are from other games and play with, it's just so much more enjoyable. We've been using Discord when we do a lot of these groups, which is just a voice communication app. You get on, you can talk while you're playing and, you know, it helps you strategize while you're, while you're doing it. Uh, we come up to the lane here because Ringo went down. Catherine's out there by herself, so we decided to jump in, smack her around a little bit, and run her off. Uh, I guess Ringo from the other other team either called back or or went down himself. I'm not sure, uh, but just run her off of our of our turret a little bit, and then get back to farming down here at the bottom. Um, Taka on this this match, I actually went tension bow again. I've been playing with different builds with him, and I like them. Just I sort of do it just depending on. Who I'm up against, what the enemy team has, what what build they're doing, which I think is good. I think you you know there's always an adjustment to be made to have a, a set in stone build probably isn't the best idea. Uh, right here they really are pushing our turret hard, so we come out, want to jump on Ringo, get him out of there. Uh, really don't have enough burst damage debt yet to, to just go up and gank somebody. So right here it's just more or less about running them off, keeping them from doing damage on our turret uh, while Ringo is running back. I think he got actually got ganked there, so. Uh, we do that pretty successfully. They come out, and Ringo keeps pushing with low life there. So finally, I get over on him and with a few shots, uh, almost take him down. But again, just lacking a little bit of burst damage. I uh, want to get that wave off of our turret. Once that's done, uh, I just fall down and start to farm again. So really, again, as you guys have probably heard me say, Taka is not very strong early game. He doesn't have a lot of burst damage, and without that ultimate ability to be able to jump in and out of the attacks very or the fights very quickly, uh, at least the way I play him, he's sort of uh, not weak, but he's just not strong. You know, he can he gets his uh, vanishing ability, his B ability pretty quickly, so he can get out safely. He just can't burst someone down and, and take him out real quickly. Uh, so we're just clearing our farm, doing our thing, trying to get leveled up, get that ultimate, and I am trying to rush Tension Bow, which you can see I've almost got the 1500 gold required for that right there. I cross over, so next time we go to the to the shop, I will be able to grab it. That uh, had a chance to get a gank there, but that scout mine gave our position away, and then they just retreated back. There was no chance from there. I used my stealth ability to get across without them seeing me. I see how low Koshki is and stupidly run towards her. I really don't like that. If you guys notice there, I had my invisibility down. I had not attacked anybody, uh, and just getting in range of the turret made it start attacking me. I feel like when I'm invisible, it shouldn't do that, but whatever. I guess it does. Uh, so we pretty much had them, you know, had them weakened here. We're trying to use Whistle to, as a as a bait here, and he almost pays for it right there, almost goes down. I come out with my visibility, jump on uh, Ringo real quick. Again, just the lack of burst damage. One more level, I'll have my ultimate, and then obviously if I can get a break here to get down to the shop, I will have my uh, tension bow, and things will start looking a little different when those things happen there. Uh, Catherine does, is not scared. She just runs right out in front, takes a shot from the turret, and then Finn actually finishes her off. So pretty stupid move by Catherine there. Uh, we retreat back down, go to the shop. I grab my tension bow, and I believe that battery, yep. And uh, let's see, what else? Nothing else. And just get back to farming. We get back and start beating on some of these minions. Uh, 
this is the first time I've actually played with Finn. We were just talking about it. We hate playing against him. He's so overpowered as far as just being a tank. So we were just encouraging someone to try it out, and Weapon Z did it. Uh, again, got hit with a uh, scout mine there. Hate those things. Uh, another scout mine goes off here. I almost die from it. Uh, just get out of the way in time. I use my flip ability to avoid any damage, and then just invis out. And I think I go back to the house here. Yep. Just call back. Uh, Got to get healed back up. I think that might have been Catherine sneaking up trying to get me right there. It almost had me, uh, but didn't get the job done. Uh, what did I buy there? I don't even pay attention. Uh, I don't think I bought anything, actually. Just back to work, farming, getting everything built up. I've got my ultimate now. I've got my tension bow. I'm ready to start really putting some damage down. When we get in the group fights, uh, Finn was up in the lane helping out, and I just continued to, to farm while they did that. They went ahead and grabbed the gold mine, so I come over and help them finish that off. So we're looking pretty good now. we got control of the gold mine. We've really been winning the, the skirmishes when they happen. You see Catherine coming down uh, right there, just does not get our abilities off quick enough. Pays with our life, and we get back again as a penalty, just take some of their farm there. Uh, Ringo works his way back up into the lane, and we just do a little shopping while we're down here. Just checking the builds right now, what they've got, what I need to be doing. I grab a, a tier one shield, just because some of them are going crystal power. Uh, Ringo comes down and gets a couple of good shots off on him. Uh, then they turn around, take out Kashka or just start beating on Kashka. I'll pretty much take her down. And then right here, Ringo decides to come back. Big mistake. Finn grabs him with that ability, take him out. And now it's just Catherine left. Uh, I believe, or off, no, I guess Ringo went down there. Catherine got Ringo. Uh, but besides that, it was just her. So we go ahead take out their minion mine. I guess she didn't like that because she comes back right here, stuns me, almost gets me, use my invisibility and get away, and she really is committed to trying to take me out here, so she starts chasing me, and Catherine's not the best chaser, uh, and really, Ringo, or excuse me, uh, Taka is not a great one to chase either, especially if you don't have the ability to burst him down or whatever. I wait till her bubble goes away, come back, do the jump uh, to avoid the damage there. She does a silence, but still, she realizes here she's screwed up. Uh, get the kill. So bad mistake to chase me that far. I healed up some. I got my abilities all back up and just took her out when she finally caught me. Uh, so right here, back to the farm. I'm really low, so I thought, okay, I'll just go back to the house. I go ahead and grab that tier two shield and tier one armor. So just going a little bit more tanky now uh, because I feel like I've got that burst damage that I need to take them out. None of them were going to any type of defense, if I remember correctly. So I really wasn't worried about much more burst damage. I had plenty. Uh, so we're just doing our thing, collecting our farm, finally grabbed our minion mine there. They're pushing on a turret, so we come in. Oh, man, he almost, Finn almost got that pull on Ringo there, but it doesn't really matter. I had him chased down and took him out. So we get two kills there. Uh, and decide we're going to push up, because you see they've got two of our turrets down at this point, but really not panicking at all. We're actually in very good shape here. We're winning the team fights. We've outfarmed them. Uh, all they've worried about is pushing the lane, and we have just been farming ourselves away. So way ahead of them on that right there you see how quickly Catherine goes down and we take that turret out just as easily as we want to uh, from there we don't try to push it too hard just get back down in their jungle take out some of their stuff uh finn and ringo hanging out in the lane and as ringo pushes up here just use my ultimate on him get him ran off a little bit almost take him down but not quite uh, but that leaves taka out here <laughs> put a few hits in on her chase her off and that's that we're gonna retreat back into the jungle start taking some of their farm and taking ours and just keeping, you know, staying ahead on the farm, you know, staying ahead on the gold grab, because that's, again, what makes it, especially in late game, uh, you know, people, even if they're behind, can start turning it around if they have outfarmed the opposite team. So I'm back at the at the shop there. Catherine's dancing around, but she doesn't want to fight us. There's no question now. She don't want to do it by herself. Kashka's back up in the lane, trying to push another turret, I can only suppose, uh, but gets caught by me and Finn, and that's not going to be good. He gets his stun off on her, pulls her back in, and <laughs> she's trying to get away, but you can tell it just, that's hard to do against Finn. Uh, luckily, it's Kashka because any other character I don't think could have got away there, but she's like a track star, barely escapes with her life. Ringo's not so lucky, and then Catherine's got to try to get away herself. But you can see, once again, we are just winning every one of these team fights. It's not even close, and I do attribute that just to the, uh, the farm situation, how much farther we are leveled up, how much more we've done on our items and our shopping. Uh, I go back down to the, to the store, go ahead and grab my Aftershock. Now I've got even more burst damage. I'm uh, going to start putting it to use here uh, and fight immediately. Jump on Catherine. I didn't mean to use my ability on Catherine. That was dumb. Uh, so pretty much wasted there. And then Ringo gets his ultimate shot off on me. So pretty much had to retreat there. They got the best of that fight. Didn't actually get a, a kill, but, you know, they hurt us. So Ringo still almost get me. But luckily, my 
uh, stealth ability comes up just in time to get far enough away and get back and save life. Almost died right there. One of the closest calls I had the entire match, but did get away without dying. Uh, get a few ticks of health back and then just get right back into the fight here. Come up, Ringo I know is still right there, so boom, this time I target him directly. Get several shots off on him, almost take him down, but he's able to retreat back because there's all three of them up still there. Uh, we just sort of start pushing the lane again, start moving up as a team here for the most part. That's another thing we did a lot that they didn't do as far as a team. We normally we would catch them one or two at a time. Uh, rarely did we catch them all three together. Uh, right here, we're just setting up, sort of waiting on them, thinking maybe they'll try to grab the gold mine, uh, but they don't. I don't. I don't think here. I think they. Well, I know where they're at. They might be in the lane. I just stealth around, see if I can find them anywhere. Uh, but they're down there by their minion mine. I come in right here, jump on Ringo, take a shot, uh, use my ultimate, and then almost get him. But he's quicker than I am. I guess he's got tier two boots at this point. Uh, so we start putting some damage on Catherine. Ringo uh, comes back and slows me, so that kept that actually saved his life and possibly Catherine's. I had my ultimate ability back up. So good use of that ability by Ringo. But right there, look at all that crystal power they're doing. Uh, no defense for them for the most part. Uh, we're pretty much wrecking them. Ringo had gone back, so I thought I'll just go back and we'll, we'll group up this way. They got a, a little wave of minions that we want to take care of. Took those out and then just started moving back into Kraken's up at this point. Wanted to make sure they're not trying to grab it early or something like that. It would have been a mistake, but you never know what people will do. Uh, so we get back in the lane, just sort of waiting on them, and all of a sudden they show up right here. I think all three of them are here. I target, I just go invisible so they can't see me, so Catherine can't stun me. We jump on Ringo and just boom, boom, he's dead. Uh, Kasha comes in a little bit late to the party. Uh, not a good idea. I see that Catherine's almost dead, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and finish her off. Use my ultimate ability on her. I think I get her right here. Yeah, I had to chase her way deep. Uh, I think it, you could see my guy doing a little stutter step there. I was tapping it like she was in range, and it just wouldn't go off for some reason. I thought I had her. Uh, but somehow it just didn't didn't happen. She gets away, and we go back to farming and taking their minion mine and just put, keeping the pressure on them here, keeping them, starving them out for gold, all that. They want to come in and fight again two on two, but that's a bad idea. I can't believe that hook didn't get Kashka. That was so close. Uh, Ringo shows up to back him up, so they come in. He uses his ultimate ability on Finn, which I don't think is what he wanted to do. If it is, it was a mistake. Uh, I just hang back here. You see that Catherine starts chasing Finn, and so I cut back in on these two because I knew that I had enough burst damage at this point. They couldn't handle me. I had a lot of defense. They did not. Uh, so pretty much two on one them. You see right here that uh, Ringo actually gets his ultimate off before I do and gets that kill. Uh, but we just absolutely trolled them right there. Catherine chasing Finn was just a huge mistake. I don't know what she thought she was going to do when she caught him. I mean, that's like a dog chasing a car. Uh, just crazy. So right here, we decided to go ahead and take the Kraken. Uh, pretty pretty easy. They're down still, and Ringo's even actually in the lane holding them off, not even letting them come up to try to stop us. So the time he gets there, it's almost down. We take the Kraken, go to the store. We know this is probably going to be the last fight. Go ahead and grab an infusion and just get right to it. Uh, we know that you know once we get into that base, the way the team fights are going, we'll probably take them out. And if we do, that is GG. So see Kashka pushing up already. I go ahead and put some damage on her few hits there. Uh, she gets the stun off on me and Ringo taking a few shots at me. So I take quite a bit of damage right there early on, but you can see right here, Catherine goes down and that is not good for them because between Ringo and Kashka, if we even get our sights set on them for a moment at this point between Ringo and myself, uh, we put down so much damage that they just have no chance to live. So right here, just trying to bust through that wall. It won't quite let me get to him. I want to grab Ringo, but also don't want to take any shots from that turret needlessly. Uh, take it down, and then we move into the base. Kashka comes running out, start putting some damage on her. She has to retreat. Uh, just staying out of the way of the turrets, just sort of playing this safe here, making them making them come out and chase us. Uh, right here again, Kashka's out. I uh, got my ability up, but not had, didn't have my ultimate up just yet. So she got away once more. Uh, second turret goes down, and that is that. We focus all of our attention on that uh, vein. You see how quickly it goes down. Just absolutely domination in this game. Uh, so it was a really fun one. And again, I think that was the first time we played with Finn. So pretty cool. Hope you guys liked it. You see there, Whistle this. He's, he's very good at Ringo. Had quite a few deaths that game, but trust me, he's, he's a good Ringo, good laner. I actually got away with no deaths, nine, zero, and two. And weapons, he did his job with one kill, zero deaths. So very, very nice. You see the builds there. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.